Hello everyone. I am Avadsa and I have a one good news for you all that I am starting my new playlist and in my new playlist I am going to cover majority of the finance related module in D365. But before that I want to discuss opportunities and how one can start your career into Dynamic 365 as a functional consultant. So in D365 functional consultant we have a uh, we have a uh, two uh, two type of uh, modules one is a finance related modules and another is a operation related modules so uh, for a finance related modules we have a finance consultant and for operation related modules we have a scm consultant and a retail consultant so to become a finance uh, functional consultant in d365 fno one required the good knowledge of accounting the person who have completed their masters in commerce in accounting and the person who have completed your mba in uh, in a finance the person who have uh, who have completed their professional degree like ca are uh, competent to become a finance functional consultant in d365 so now i'm discussing with you all that which module i'm going to cover in this channel uh, and in this playlist this is a basically introductory introductory video from my side. So in finance, we have a different module. In uh, uh, so in D365, we have a different modules. Uh, so I'm going to cover a finance related modules. So what I will do, I will start with organization admin module. So in organization and admin module, I will create a new legal entity, and I will do all the setup with scratch. I will create uh, operating units. I will create organization hierarchy. Even I will run number sequence setup, which is a basic set, uh, which is a predefined setup in system. I will run that setups. Then I will go. Uh, the next module I will cover is a general module, general ledger module. In general ledger module, I will cover the concept of uh, main accounts. How one can create a main accounts? Uh, what is the type of main accounts? What is a category of main accounts? so i will um, i will i will create a currencies i will create a, a financial dimension what is the concept of the financial dimension in erp i will uh, create accounting structure i will also going to cover that what is the advanced rule structure in d365 also i will cover the uh, concept of the calendar we have a two calendar fiscal calendar and uh, leisure calendar i will uh, do the uh, ledger related setups in the system i will create a journal names and its number sequence and i'm going to pass journal entries in the system we have a different type of the journal entries basic journal entries allocation journals periodic journals i'm also going to uh, uh, i'm going to, i'm also going to cover one concept named as an accrual scheme in d365 then i'm going to cover my next module as in cash and bank so how one can create the bank account in the system and we have a two type of the bank reconciliation one is a normal bank reconciliation and one another is a advanced bank reconciliation uh, I, I will also cover the check setup in check setup uh, we have a two type of check setup one is a manual check setup and another is a automatic check setup then I'm going to cover one more module, which is a product information management module, which is a basically SM related module. But I'm going to cover the basic funda of product information management module. And I'm going to cover that how one can create the item in the system for creation of item. What is a necessary setup we require in the system that I'm going to cover? What is the concept of the tracking dimension, storage dimension? And product dimension that also i'm going to cover in this playlist then my next module is account payable module we have a basically we have a purchase to procure module uh, cycle in purchase to procure cycle we have a we have a uh, for that we have a two modules in d365 first is accounting payable module which is a finance related module and another is a procurement and sourcing module which is a scm related module so in account payable module i'm going to cover how one can create a vendor in system how we can uh, create a, a vendor invoice in the system how one can create a 
purchase order GRN and invoicing in a system. Also, how one can pay the payment to that vendor, how we can settle that transaction between the uh, vendors. And also, I'm going to cover the concept of the vendor posting profile. And I, I, I will give you a glimpse of the Microsoft standard reports related to the account payable module. The, my next module is accounting receivable module. Account, uh, account receivable module is an order to cash uh, 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 cycle uh, related to order to cash cycle. In order to cash cycle, uh, uh, we have uh, two modules in a system. One is a account receivable module, and another is a uh, another is a sales and marketing module. So, what is order to cash cycle? Order to sales cycle is a customer related to cycle. Over there, uh, I, I'm going to cover uh, customer creation. Uh, sales invoicing, uh, basically sales order, uh, packing slip, and uh, sales invoicing. And I'm going to cover this free tax invoice uh, related uh, entries. I'm going to cover customer posting profile, concept of customer posting profile, and I'm going to uh, tell you how one can pass customer payment entry in the system. I'm also going to cover the basic reports of the account receivable module, like a uh, um, uh, like a uh, customer aging reports. Next module is a fixed asset module. So I'm going to cover how one can create a fixed asset in the system, how one can acquire that particular fixed asset. There is a, a multiple type of uh, method to acquire fixed asset in the system. What is the concept of fixed asset books in the system uh, that I'm going to cover? Uh, how one can uh, calculate the depreciation in D365 that I'm going to cover in this playlist. Also, I'm going to cover what is the impact of uh, impact in the system if you are selling that particular fixed asset. Uh, then I'm going to cover um, a, a tax module. I'm going to cover uh, Indian GST taxation, uh, the setup of Indian GST. Uh, then I'm going to uh, I'm going to cover sales tax related setup and also I'm going to uh, do the Indian uh, TDS related setup uh, in this playlist. My next module is budget planning and control module where I'm starting with budget planning. Mm, I'm passing budget planning entries and then I, I will convert that budget planning entries into the budget control entries and I will uh, showcase you the implications of the budget controls in the system. Also, we will see the basic reports related to the budgeting in the systems. I'm also going to cover some other modules like data management modules. In data management module, we can do a data import and data export activity. I'm also going to cover basic workflow to advanced workflow. And I'm also going to cover security uh, security related module. In security mo related module, we comes to know that how we can assign uh, rights and roles to the D365 users. So I request you everyone uh, to subscribe my channel for more uh, such a valuable content and also